Huskies, Kalen DeBoer. Man, what a start you're off to here in your first couple of years at Washington. But I don't know that a lot of people understand your path. You won national championships at your alma mater, NAIA Sioux Falls. When did you realize that this was the moment, the opportunity that you wanted to do it at the highest level of college? Yeah, I don't think it was ever about that. I think it was always about just try, trying to be the best and enjoying the moment and enjoying the journey. I wouldn't trade it for anything, but uh, this place is special. I think Husky Nation is ready. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I would say so. I would say so. One everywhere he's been, Pat, Sioux Falls, Fresno State, not one. Yeah, and obviously I live in Indianapolis. I'm very lucky to call Indiana home. Whenever he and Michael Penix Jr. were in Bloomington yeah, for yeah. Indiana, yeah. beating Michigan and such like that. There was an energy around football that it hadn't had in a long time. You bring that out here, obviously. These people, Coach, and I know you have felt this because you've been in the stadium. Yeah. They've been out here since 4 p.m. yesterday, then all through the night. What have you learned about West Coast football since coming out here and yeah. obviously the Husky Nation? Yeah, I mean, I, this is what I expected here this morning. I didn't expect anything less from Husky Nation. And, uh, you know, this is this is why I came here. This is uh, big time football. It's a it's a great place. It's got championship bones in the program. Uh, we've been there before and we'll continue to carry on the pride and tradition. Yeah, you know, hanging out with you yesterday and being at your practice. It, it, it's really evident when teams win. There's people talk about culture. Just talk about what you tried to build here in first year. You had a lot of success. and You've kind of built off of what you did in year yeah. one rolling into this year. Yeah, I've just been fortunate to be surrounded by great people. It starts with coaches and, of course, our players. And, and uh, you know, just bringing it all together, that's what I love to do. And the atmosphere, the environment, trying to facilitate that to where it can be player-led. Yeah, They take that. the ownership and, uh, you know, they – they make the most of it. They're the ones that hold each other accountable. It's a professional outfit here, Des. The yeah, way yeah. it kind of is operated, it feels like. Yeah, I was actually here last week, spoke to Coach Grubb and uh, Kalen. I talked about plays. I want you to show us some plays that you guys were showing me a week ago and how it. special your offense is under Michael Penix Jr. Yeah. yeah, I mean, for, you know, I think we're always about players first. And so you're going to see a play here with uh, Roma Dunze up here in the top. And we're getting formations. You know, right here, I'd like to see this uh, maybe route come underneath, underneath. Always coaching. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> Even on game day. But uh, it's going to open yeah. up an opportunity for Jalen McMillan. You know, and I think the thing with Michael that you see up front is, you know, we always talk about our offensive line doing an amazing job, but he's not right. afraid to step into the throw and fire a strike, and that was on a line about 60 yards. Yeah, with a guy in his grill, too. It, yeah. it, it's incredible how you guys are able to stretch teams horizontally, create those vertical seams. Michael just seems to have such a great feel for where the space is and anticipate throws. And I know we got one more look at what you guys are doing offensively and some of these throws that he's been able to make. Yeah, the spacing and, and just different looks, right? Oh, so look now at that we, formation. Now, now, now we get to spread the field. <laughs> now let's go. And watch the guy tight ends the last play. And, yeah. you know, on this one, it's uh, just four verts. It's a, it's, a, it's a play everyone around the country runs. But Michael reading the middle safety and being able to, you know, use his eyes to, to hold him and uh, just trusting, you know, the, the route by uh, Rome and throwing away from the defender, you know, another 45, 50 yards. How about that adjustment? On the money. Bro, the right. adjustment Uno did. Uno looked over his right. <laughs> yes. Adjusted his left. That's that was sick. beautiful. Played hands. Yeah. It's, it's a professional outfit here. It truly is. Yes, sir. Whenever you see Michael Penix Jr. throw the ball like that, you know, some teams are scared to kind of go deep. Some teams are scared to be explosive. You guys are kind of living and dying by that. There's obviously a reason because how talented Michael Penix is. Yeah, yeah, we got to take advantage of, uh, of uh, what we have and our personnel, and that's what it's all about. So, you know, we have that the ability to It's fun to watch shorten, your but, offense. But why not let it fly? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love watching their offense. Yeah. And, and one more weapon today, Jalen McMillan. Yeah. How's he looked in practice? Oh, yeah, yeah he's up? had a great two weeks here, so uh, he'll be ready to roll. Okay, right he's out. ready to roll. Let's They're go. ready. You got a final message to Absolutely. these fans Let's here. Go. What do you got for him? Hell yeah. Throw the dub up.